Hi, thanks for joining us. We're gonna have a lot of fun downloading some image files from the network with our Flutter application. This is part five of the tutorial series. We're gonna find out how to locate that pictures folder on your Windows computer. We're building a Flutter desktop application for Windows. Every user is on a Windows machine has a set of files by default, music and pictures. We want our Flutter application to find this pictures directory for every user and to then create a directory within the pictures directory to store our images. We're gonna download it from the network, either from a camera or from a free site called Lorem Pixum. If you wish to follow along with the tutorial, go to the playlist in the description. The getter repository for the code is also in the description of the playlist. This tutorial series is built so that you do not need a camera to follow it. If you have a camera, any model of the Ricoh Theta will work. If you do not have a camera, we're going to use these URLs from this free site, Lorem Pixum, to simulate downloading images from a camera. It's just going to download it over HTTP. Let's get started right now. Using our plan as a reference, we want to get the image directory on the Windows computer. All your Flutter code should be under the lib directory. Within the lib directory, create a new folder for local storage. This is where we're gonna organize the code for our Windows file system management. Create a new file called getdirectory.dart, and that's where we're gonna place the logic to grab the, the pictures directory from the Windows file system. Import the dart.io and the path provider packages. The path provider needs to be in the pubspec.yaml file of your main project. Installation of Path Provider was covered in a previous video. Path Provider is the key package that we need to talk to the Windows system and find out where the pictures directory is on your Windows computer. The pictures directory has a username in the path. Since we're dealing with the local storage, we're going to need to return a future and use async await for asynchronous I.O. We're going to call the function get pictures path. It's not going to receive anything. Uh, it's going to return a future of type string. The path provider actually does not provide the pictures directory automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the documents directory, which it which does come with path provider. So the first step here is to grab the documents folder on your local file system. The get application documents directory is part of path provider. The key point of this lesson is to use the get applications document directory. As a test, we'll first return the, the path of the documents directory. To, just to test it and to see whether I'm actually getting the documents path, I'm going to hook it into the get image button. At this stage, I, don't, I still don't have the pictures path, but with the documents path, I should be able to parse it out and get the pictures path. I'm just trying to see whether my application actually works with the Windows file system at this time. As I want to actually get the pictures path, I'm gonna rename the file before I connect it to the button to get underscore pictures underscore path dot dart. Also, before I'm able to use this function within the button, press callback, I'm going to need to make it into a async await function of when I press the button. The get pictures path is returning a future because it doesn't know when it can get information from the file system. Because it's a, a asynchronous function and it's returning a future, we're going to need to use the keyword await uh, right before we call the function and also put the word async in front of the first curly bracket of the method that the callback function that's run when we press the button. With the async and await keywords inserted into the button press callback function, where we, can sh we should now be able to print out the directory. And it's working. It's grabbing the information from the Windows file system. Yay. So at this stage, I have the documents directory and I don't have the pictures directory. So I'm gonna to need to get the front part of the path for the, the documents directory ahead of the folder documents. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna attach the pictures 
folder onto there. So I'm first going to need to split the path that I have for the documents directory. I'm going to split it on the backslash in the path name. And because that backslash is a special character, I'm going to have to ex escape it. That's why there's two backslashes. And I'm also going to need to split it on the path of the documents directory, not the documents, the doc directory itself. Since the path list is an array or a list, I can just find the length of the array and replace that last element with the string pictures. There's likely a shortcut to do this, which is easier. So if you know how to do that, feel free to leave that tip in the comments for me. Thanks. This technique of putting it into a list and then finding the last element of the list and replacing it with the string pictures, it's a bit long, maybe it's a bit verbose, but I think it's pretty easy to understand what's going on here. And then since I have the information now in a list, I then need to convert it back into a string to pass back. So to convert the list, which has the elements, into a string, I'm going to use join, and I'm going to join it together with this backslash. Again, there's two backslashes because I'm using this on Windows, and Windows has the backslash, so you need to escape it. Now I can return the string of the pictures path. With this technique, you first get the documents path, and then you, from there you parse it, and then you get the pictures path. It works. I now have the pictures path. This will only work on a Windows system at this time. If you're not on Windows, just store it into the documents directory. We'll actually store it into a subfolder within the documents or pictures directory. Congratulations, you can now interface with the Windows file system and isolate where the pictures folder is on the Windows computer. We're next gonna look at the URL list. We're gonna to have to get a list of images either from the network or from the camera. We're gonna start off with a network first, so you do not need a camera to follow along with this tutorial. At the end of the tutorial, if you do have a camera, you can switch over this isolated code to get the URL list. Subscribe to the channel for updates on future tutorials, and have a great day.